New South Wales Premier Chris Minns has spoken of his disappointment by referring one of his cabinet ministers to the state's corruption watchdog just four months into the job. Sacked Newcastle MP Tim Crackenthorpe failed to disclose that his wife and his father-in-law owned dozens of properties in the Hunter. Let's go to Newcastle now. Kenny Heatley's there. Kenny, does the Premier know if the family had benefited financially from decisions that he's made so far as a minister? Pete, the Premier wouldn't, wouldn't say too much on that, but he says he has concerns. Here's what the Premier had to say on that question in a press conference that was delivered late yesterday afternoon. I've also referred uh, concerns that I have that he may have acted in matters that rendered a material benefit to him or his family as a result of decisions that he's made over the last three months. Not happy with that response, Opposition Leader Mark Speakman delivered this statement saying, given today's revelations and referral to the Independent Commission Against Corruption, the Premier must now provide answers to questions asked by the Opposition regarding perceived conflicts of interest and give confidence to the people of New South Wales that relevant steps have been taken to manage any perceived conflicts of interest. Now, for his failure to disclose substantial commercial property holdings here in Newcastle around the Hunter held in his wife's name, Laura, uh, and also his father-in-law, Joe Minata. Uh, he has been sacked from the ministry. He's been moved to the back bench. He'll stay in the party room, but the Premier says uh, if ICAC does decide to launch a formal investigation into Tim Crackenthorpe, then, then he'll be expelled from the party room. But leading up to the election in March, um, really, Chris Minn campaigned on a platform of restoring integrity to government after multiple coalition scandals, including Jobs for the Boys, John Barilaro, uh, Gladys Berejiklian being found corrupt by ICAC. And here's the Premier expressing his disappointment at having to refer one of his own ministers to the corruption watchdog just four months into the job. I am disappointed. I fully acknowledge that. This is not what we want, and we want to have a cabinet in New South Wales that the people of New South Wales can believe in and can have trust in and faith in. But that's part of the reason why I've taken this decision, to remove him. Now, the Premier is now in possession of a full list of those real estate holdings. A statement from Tim Crackenthorpe says, I have self-reported a breach of the Ministerial Code of Conduct to Premier Chris Minns, and he'll stay as member for Newcastle and won't be making another statement at this time. So he will remain the member for Newcastle. The Deputy Premier, Prue Carr, will take on his ministerial portfolio, including the Minister, uh, the uh, uh, TAFE and Skills and Tertiary Education, and the Police Minister, Yasmin Catley, will be Interim Minister for the Hunter, Pete. All righty. Kenny Heatley, thank you.